All right, here we're gonna go ahead and create a new map workspace, uh, Trimble Terraflex on Connect. And we're gonna show the post-processing setup here for the pre-field for the GNSS offline corrections for Terraflex Premium. We'll click Add, Create Map Workspace. Then we'll walk through the wizard, giving it a name and coordinate system. So we'll call this Test GNSS Offline Premium. We could give a description if we want, but I'll skip that for now. Next, uh, give the city that you're gonna be working in so it can guess your coordinate system. Uh, for me, I'm gonna put Albuquerque. We'll hit Next. I'm going to accept my state plane, but change to the US foot since that's what our state has adopted with Geo at 18 CONUS. We'll hit Done. And we'll want to create our templates like normal to be able to have a point line or polygon that we can collect on. I'm just going to uh, do an existing template here because I'm going to copy off of uh, something that I already have. So we'll copy this hydrant one and I'll duplicate the template. Once that's duplicated, I'm going to click here on the symbology and just call it hydrant, get rid of the word copy. And we'll go ahead and hit the three lines in the top left. Here we're going to go to the positioning tab and we want to make sure that we have offline GNSS enabled. And at this point we can go to the field and it will average every shot 10 seconds and we should be able to come back. And when it syncs on Wi-Fi, our handheld, uh, you'll be able to get post-process data. All right, we're over on our handheld here and we're gonna collect some point features. First, we're going to check our location status just to see where we're at estimated for offline processing. We'll double check our settings, specifically our antenna height to make sure we have that set properly. And you'll see here that we also do not have a real time configuration, which is not necessary because we're going to be doing the offline workflow. So there's no need necessarily for any real time connections. I'm going to adjust the antenna height here to 3.8 feet which is approximately how high I'm holding the handheld. Now we'll go to our map and collect data. This is actually where I prefer to collect data in Terraflex is from the map view because you can see your current estimated accuracy and you can even set that if you'd like to post-processed estimated accuracy. We'll collect our hydrant here and you will see that we are averaging 10 positions. So 10 positions or 10 epochs is how many um, average points that Terraflex allows for the post-process workflow. We're currently filling out our data dictionary. This point happens to be a meter, even though I'm shooting it as a hydrant. Now I'm going to head over here to an actual hydrant. And then after that, we will shoot a valve. And with those three points, it'll complete our field work. So here we go, set up on this uh, yellow Kennedy hydrant. We'll fill out some attributes here and then go ahead and take a picture while we're at it. So we'll take our picture of our Kennedy hydrant and then move on to our water valve. Submitting our feature. Now I'm going to collect the water valve. Again, a 10 second shot. And then we'll take a picture as well. We'll call it a water valve here. And then we'll go ahead and take the picture. Now that this is the last feature of the day, we are going to wait two to three minutes before we close out Terraflex uh, because we wanna make sure we have enough carrier data after our last feature so that we can ensure we're getting decimeter level data on this TDC 150. All right, so we're back here in the office. We've already synced our data here in Terraflex on the handheld. We're gonna go ahead and hit refresh. Once we've refreshed, we'll see that we have the three features and in the top right in the activity, you'll see a little red dot and it says three forms were queued for processing. Those will process whenever the next base station is available, the next closest reliable base station. We'll go ahead and clear this window, the activity window, and we'll click on, uh, let's just click on the hydrant here.
and we'll take a look at the attributes. We'll see that it's queued for processing at an accuracy of about four by seven feet. Again, we had no real-time correction, so pretty good for being autonomous. If we click on the queued identify, you'll see that Sandia, which is the nearest base station to me, will be our base and it's expected to process or estimated to process at 5.02 p.m. So we'll go ahead and circle back on this a little bit after five. All right, now that we've waited a little bit, let's take a look at our data. Here's one of our points here, 1.6 by two inches vertical. Not bad at all. Go ahead and take a look at the hydrant here. 0.6 by one inch. And now that we've reviewed our data, we can go ahead and export if we so choose. So that'll wrap it up for our session today on Terraflex Premium using the GNSS offline workflow. Thanks again for joining us.